Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 1. Today we have our second to last episode. Yes, that is right. Tomorrow I'm gonna re release the final episode of Assassin's Creed 1. Now, can you believe that? Now this is amazing. This is an episode 32. And of course I said I'm gonna finish in one month, but I don't care. You know, I did it. So guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're feeling happy. I hope you're feeling energetic because I am. I don't know, can you tell? But yeah, guys, so the support, oh my God, on last couple of videos, I don't know why, maybe they are shorter, maybe because, I don't know why, I got few subscribers, I got some comments, I got likes, the watch time is amazing. Um, then I have like a click per, I don't know what it's called, but basically when it pops out on YouTube, how many people do click on it and it's everything is going up and i feel so amazing because that brings joy to my life and i just must say a huge thank you to all of you guys so yeah i don't want to be boring so guys this video as you can see is also a shorter one but you know what this uh, episode we did a little but a lot so i if you remember if you watched me before if you didn't please check out uh, my older videos but if you watched me before i started completing all the flags and all the templars because i want to get 100 percent in this game because that's what i'm going to be doing in all of the assassin's creed games now the thing is i actually started that and when i finished the main mission the flags started being a huge problem because it's so hard to find them and I didn't even realize what kind of a challenge is going to be. At first I didn't use any help and I started using a little bit of help on uh, Google. Not too much, but I started doing, you know, few things. And I must say, I'm glad that I didn't use help for any of the Templars and stuff. I only used for some of the flags, but you know what? Even with that, it's so hard. So, you know, I want to be honest. I don't want to say I didn't use help then. You know, I did on some of the flags, so yeah, but I still didn't, you know, I had some kind of rules. So, for example, if I use help from Google to find one flag, I must buy the second flag without Google and stuff like that, you know, but that takes so much time, trust me. And because, especially when you have like few flags left, you can't know which flags you collected or which you didn't. And then that is a whole mess because you have checked some spots that you checked like 100 times. And 101st time you're gonna find a flag there because somehow just shows up, I don't know. So yeah. Guys, um, in this video, now again, I'm doing a voiceover without watching the video right now. So I don't know what is happening on in the video, but I know like, you know, I filmed it today. So I know what's gonna happen in the video, but basically, uh, you know, I'm I'm really glad I did what I did, that I succeeded, and I basically found all of the Templars, now that's a huge thing for me, I found all of the Templars, that means so much, and I finished the mosque. That's right guys, so in the next episode, only thing, I mean it's only thing, it's a lot of stuff, it's a lot of job, but the only thing we have left is to go to Jerusalem and to find all of the flags. Once I do that, I successfully completed Assassin's Creed 1 100% and I feel so happy because it's so close it's only one episode and I basically uh, did this so I, I knew that I have like uh, the mosque I have Jerusalem and I have the get all the Templars and I said okay I have to do two things today and one tomorrow now Jerusalem I need to find what more flags than I had to find in the mosque. So I said, okay, I'm gonna do the mosque and the Templar, and I did that. So only Jerusalem tomorrow, and guys, we finished the game. So I can't wait to finish it, honestly, because 33 episodes for a game, uh, it's amazing. But I did like 20 or 21, 22, I don't know, episodes of normal gameplay, and then just the flags and stuff. It got boring, so I tried to mix this voiceover stuff, you know. So I make it more fun and to make it shorter and stuff, yeah. So guys, again, I actually started liking this uh, voice. I know it echoes behind, 
but I like it. I mean, I don't use microphone, I just record from my laptop and it sounds okay. Uh, I don't know, I, I speak uh, much more loudly, I speak much more comfortable and I feel much more happier when speaking. I don't have to think too much because if you listen to my older videos, uh, like a month ago, I spoke like so quiet and so different and you know, I, I just spoke... Mm, I was thinking too much and that is a huge problem because you know that you, you shouldn't think too much of course I'm thinking because this is not my native language so yeah guys so Assassin's Creed 1 is gonna be finished and I can't believe it like uh, uh, many 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 years ago when they started making Assassin's Creed I also uh, posted a post on YouTube about this but if you didn't saw that Basically, Assassin's Creed wasn't supposed to happen because, uh, you know, Assassin's Creed is a popular game and franchise now, but that was almost uh, Prince of Persia, if you didn't know, and it, it was supposed to be named Prince of Persia Assassin, like that was the sequel. And the thing is, they just didn't, didn't thought that that would be... Uh, a good sequel for Prince of Persia, they thought, oh, they that could be a whole different franchise. And I saw that and they decided at like last minute, and it's amazing they did. They did that because, you know, you know, that that look at the Assassin's Creed now, like it's amazing. It's amazing. So and the reason why I believe is because that game was made and you know it's Prince of Persia and it was not about the prince so why you know why would it be a Prince of Persia so that's amazing it took just like maybe a few conversations and few uh, you know meetings just to decide this and now look what we have we have like 12 or 13 main story games a lot of uh, like spin-off games like we have so so many followers of that game and it's amazing it's amazing now what I want to say is I saw that a new God of War came out and I said that I want to be playing good God of War one day and it looks amazing it looks so so phenomenal and this is the first time I actually saw a game like God of War or any game be promoted on TV commercials because I actually never saw that before like specific game like for a PS5 or what it is, I don't know where you can play it for PC, like being promoted, like that's that's a whole new tier of, you know, that's a level up, I must say, and it's amazing, and the commercial is really amazing, and I watched the trailer, I watched some gameplays, like it's beautiful, game is beautiful, the storyline is beautiful, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but if you didn't watch it, go watch it, I actually watched the gameplay, and I'm watching it from Jacksepticeye. He he's just a guy that I can always watch because he's good at what he does. He speaks when he sh when he should. He shouts loud when he should, and he doesn't speak when he shouldn't speak. You know, he lets the all the you know story and all the talking happen without him interrupting. That's why I like him watching. And he doesn't really cut his videos. Uh, he posted like uh, two hour long videos, and I love it. And it's it's amazing. It's it's really really cool. So guys, that's something I wanted to talk about. I hope uh, you enjoy watching this uh, gameplay. Uh, you know, because I just cut the parts that I want you to see. For example, collecting the flags or killing the Templars or whatever I feel it's necessary. And I hope you like hearing me and knowing that everything is okay. That my life is okay. You know, I, I I'm fine. And, you know, we move on. Every day is a new day, every day is a new opportunity, and you should take it, guys. If you have an opportunity, and you're like, I don't know, should I do that? But if I do it, it's not gonna cost me, it's not gonna ruin me, you know, I could do that, but should I? You should. You should if there is now, you know, there some opportunities can be bad, but you need to kind of think about it a little bit, not too much, and see if it's gonna... You know, of course, you're not gonna do something if it's gonna hurt you or hurt someone or you're gonna get in financial problems or stuff. But if you have an opportunity for, let's say, I don't know, you have $10,000 and you have an opportunity, some kind of job or something for $200, why not? If you if you don't have to pay that 10000 to someone, you're not in debt or something, why not to try something? Because 
money comes and goes and money is just a boring thing actually so why not to try and take an opportunity my youtube journey is a huge opportunity so we're, we're gonna see what's gonna happen so yeah guys again thank you for watching if you did like this please leave a like subscribe to to see more and more content and i promise i promise you're gonna see only the better and better and better content because i'm trying to improve i really am so guys leave a like share of course and comment whatever you want i'm just gonna uh, answer to your comment i promise that at least now when i don't have a lot of comments because i love it i love when someone comments and that's it thank you guys one more time for watching and I will see you next time in the last episode of Assassin's Creed 1. Bye!